I want to look at how we can make this molecule using the malonic ester synthesis. Uh, the first thing we have to recognize is, is that that's a possible route to make this molecule. And we know that that's the case because we can see that this part that I've circled here is really an acetic acid part of our molecule. And this other part down here is the substituted part. Now that part is often an alkyl halide or it could be something like a Michael acceptor. Now what I want to do to show you how this is made is I want to take a moment and I want to redraw this molecule so that I put my substituted part kind of facing down right here. Once we do that, our point of attachment here for our substituted part has to turn into a carboxylic acid. So I'm going to add another carboxylic acid to this position. And in essence, once I've done that, this top part of the molecule really has become malonic acid. At that point in time, we only have a few steps to walk backwards to see how we could have done the synthesis. We need to turn these OH groups here from our carboxylic acids into esters. So we're going to do that, and we're going to make ethyl groups here. These could have been methyls, but we'll go ahead and do kind of what our book does. We'll make those ethyls. At that point in time, we just need to move one step backwards, and we need to take off our alkyl group here. And we do that by removing our ethyl group and turning it into some type of good electrophile. So probably going to put on some type of good leaving group there, like a bromide or an iodide. 